This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Evergreen, Colorado. I am here at El Rancho Brewing Company. Since 2015, this historic location has been brewing up the best brews, barbecues, all with a beautiful Colorado view. Let's start off a little bit here. Um, share with me, Paul, this is a location that is pretty rich in history, really, dating all the way back to 1948. Before we discuss the facility, share with me a little bit of your history and how it is you got involved in the restaurant and brewing industry. Well, my uh, partners, my family talked me into it. I was an electrical engineer for 37 years. Uh, I've been a craft beer fan for about 30 years. Uh, and so when this opportunity came along, I thought, you know, this, this would be a lot of fun. This would be a lot of fun. I mean, as we both know, uh, the city of Denver, which is just a few miles from here, they brew up more beer probably than any other city in the entire nation. I mean, we know our beer. What is it about mountain living and, and beer that you think go hand in hand pretty well? Well, it's, it's kind of the robustness of the environment, and you have a, a lot of people making some pretty robust beer. Uh, it's, it's a good culture. The brewing industry here, the, the people are just great. Everybody works together uh, and, and cooperates, uh, and, and we learn from each other, and we're all better for working together. I believe that as well. I mean, you basically say they, they, they come, for the, come for the view, they stay for the brew. I would have to believe that. I can't think of a better way um, to experience our continental divide than really having a, a front row seat to Colorado like this. Um, do people come in and, and love taking a window view? Uh, yes, they do. And we've got a deck out here with a, with a western exposure. Uh, and in the summertime, that's, that's really nice. Uh, people bring their dogs and sit back and enjoy each other's company over a, a fresh beer. I'm pretty impressed with the size of this venue. Um, quite honestly, you have, uh, you have private dining areas, you have main room dining areas, banquet areas, even a patio area out there. Um, how, many, how many folks are you able to accommodate here? Not only, not only the people, but also their dogs out front, I see. Well, the, the fire code says about 500 in the building. Uh, about 300, the building's pretty darn full. Uh, we have a sunken beer garden out, out on the other side also. Uh, so there's quite a variety of spaces here. Yeah, I mean, I was impressed when I walked in how big it was. Um, beautiful right here in Evergreen. I mean, this is a family-friendly environment. People can come in, eat, whatnot. But let's talk about the adult side first. Let's talk about the brew. Tell me about the brewery in the back room where the magic happens, um, be it... Uh, a large batch of over 300 gallons or down to a small batch. Um, give me some details about the back room. Okay, so we've got a 10 barrel gas fired uh, specific mechanical brewing system. Uh, we have uh, six 10 barrel fermenters and we have six 10 barrel serving tanks. Um, our, our capacity here is about 1500 barrels a year uh, with the equipment we've got. Uh, we're brewing about one large batch of 10 barrels a week at this point, and uh, we brew three half-barrel batches. So you'll see on our lineup, we've got, we've got quite a variety of beers up there, and it changes fairly quickly. Uh, it just makes for more fun. Absolutely. I mean, I see names on the menu there. Um, we're talking about things like uh, Fruit Magoo, um, <laughs> Tree Hugger, a lot of fun names. Obviously, these guys get creative. They have fun. But at the same time, we're serious about beer when it comes to Colorado. Do they, do they take oh, yeah. it serious back in the back room there? Oh, yes, they do. Uh, we, we work hard at this uh, all week. And uh, there, there's a lot to it. Uh, you know, people think it's all glamour and glory, but 95% but 90, of what we're doing is cleaning and making sure we have uh, good aseptic technique uh, because uh, it, it, it's easy to have things turn out not the way you want them to if you don't. Somebody in the back room's got to be serious so we can all have a fun time out here and enjoy the taste. Um, let me ask you this. The brewers obviously decide what they're going to what they're going to ferment and what they're going to put together for the for the public, but I would have to say it's probably the consumers that decide what you keep or what basically goes from a small batch to a big batch. Um, is there a flagship favorite that seems to stay on um, throughout the years here? Uh, yeah, our I-70 IPA. Uh, it's uh 
kind of a mellow IPA, not a lot of bitterness. Uh, late hop additions cause that. Um, and uh, our other best sellers are our Blonde Ale and our Pilsner. Uh, so there are a lot of folks that don't like the hoppy beers. Uh, and, and so... I mean, uh, the beer that we're drinking right now, um, what is your favorite right now, this week anyway? Uh, right now it's the Skinny Jeans. Uh, we're not drinking that. This is a New England IPA called uh, Swipe Right. Is this a favorite of quite a few folks here? Uh, this batch came out really nice, uh, I, I have to say. Uh, I think the one of the funnest parts about a brewery is the fact that you guys get to sample and find out what is best and decide what the consumers get. Um, let me ask you this. I've, I've said before to people, man cannot live on beer alone. <laughs> yeah, guys would argue. What's great about a facility like this, and makes you guys really unique, is the fact that you don't have to. We're talking about a complete, full-on menu. Was that important for you to make sure you had a not only top quality brewery, but also top quality chef putting out some great food? Uh, yes, it's real important. Uh, most of our sales are actually from food. Uh, we have a lot of families that come in here, a lot of groups, uh, a lot of people come here for wedding reception dinners. Um, and so having a good, consistent food is really important to the business. I'll start off a little bit on the on the menu because, like I said, I've been to breweries before across Denver. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're getting nothing more than finger food or maybe a truck out front. Yeah. This is not the case here. I mean, I feel like I'm in a fine dining establishment, yet at the same time, it's got a, a rustic Colorado feel. Appetizers, um, let's start there. We're talking about fried pickles, uh, fried catfish, um, pretty much anything, meat platters with uh, beer brats on it. Is uh, Are the appetizers something, a great way to watch the game, I imagine? Oh, they are, and uh, you know Coloradans love their sports. Oh, absolutely, and you've got a few uh, TV screens here for everybody to enjoy as well. Um, a happy hour, is that something that uh, is people are going to find year-round? Uh, yes, we have the happy hour year-round, uh, and so we, we have smaller portions, uh, sort of bite-sized foods, uh, finger foods, if you will. Uh, and we have some killer pulled pork nachos uh, you'll have to try. Like I said before, it's not just finger food. We're talking about full-on menu for folks that want to start their meal out with a with a fresh salad or even make that the meal. Um, I imagine in the back room, uh, freshness is job number one. Is that important, making sure that you've got uh, the freshest ingredients and you try to do some local as well? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, and we've, we've actually switched suppliers a few times when we don't get, get the freshest food. Uh, that we can. Um, one of the one of the perfect pairings I always believe is a, a beer and a burger. Uh, they go hand in hand. You've got some great burgers. We're talking beef burgers, uh, pork burgers, bison burgers, uh, and definitely barbecue is something you guys are known for. Is, is that something that um, keeps people coming back in? Well, it does, and, and we've kind of upped our game in the barbecue. We uh, we're using wet mesquite now strictly uh, for smoking and we smoke uh, pretty much daily here. Um, our beef burgers, we grind uh, beef fresh every day, uh, and you don't find that very often. No, I like, play I like going into restaurants and eating food that I can't make up easily myself. One of those is slow-cooked meat. Um, we're talking about uh, being able to smoke it. I mean, you even did some smoking of, of turkeys for people this year. Right. That was a big hit. Um, do people like the taste of smoked? And is that something that you hope to, to see grow even more? Well, they definitely do uh, by the response we're getting. As a family-friendly environment, um, kids are able to come here. You've got meals for the kids as well. You've got a happy hour, a great place to catch a game. Um, let me ask you this. As I see... I mean, rich in history. This is a place that, regardless of it's back to the 1940s, it's gone through many families, many hands throughout the years, yet the one thing that probably is the same is a place where the community can come together. People can get together and have a good time. Was that important for you? Is that what pulled you away from engineering? Well, for this place, yeah, that's uh, the key for me is having a kind of a kicked back, casual place where people can pull in off the highway when, on a long trip or, or just meet grandma here for lunch. Yep. Uh, and we have a lot of space here, and, and so it's, it's a good gathering place for the community. Absolutely. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, first of all, take a look at their menu. You're going to see this is a place that has beer that is great, but they also got some great barbecue, full-on menu, um, a great place to come in, have a complete meal. 
And you can also check them out on Facebook. They'll keep you apprised of any specials they have going, let you know what the next uh, beer on tap is going to be. Check them out there as well. Obviously, because of the ample size, this has to be a great place to host a private event. Is that something you're able to do and actually cater as well? Uh, yes, uh, we're having a wedding next month here. We're trying to get more of that business. Uh, we've had a couple of fundraisers here. We do a fundraiser every year for the Alpine Rescue Group, which is right across the street there. Uh, we did a special brew for them and a dollar from every pint of that goes to them. Is that, is that important for you to give back to the community? I mean, I've seen you do some fundraisers. I've seen you treating the first responders great, um, even even giving back to people in, in other states that have been affected. Um, is that important for you? Uh, well, yeah, it is. That's, that's kind of a part of what makes it uh, fulfilling, uh, right? Um, we There's a, a beer called Resilience that Sierra Nevada Brewing in California uh, shall I say instigated uh, 1400 breweries across the United States all brewed it pretty much about the same time and if, if you go around town right now you'll find it all over the place and it, it's it's a lot of fun to taste the different uh, takes on it that everybody has done obviously year-round the views are great here you're open year-round what are the hours here and you actually offer uh, breakfast for folks that are maybe heading up to do a little skiing uh, normal operating hours are 11 a.m. to 9 or 10 p.m., uh, but on the weekends we're starting to open up uh, at 6 for the people headed up the hill to ski. Uh, we're doing breakfast burritos for 5 bucks and coffee for a dollar. Uh, it's, it's an easy on and off the freeway, uh, and uh, you can get beer to go for uh, tailgating in the parking lot after your runs. Pretty easy to keep me happy. Give me a glass of beer and I'm good to go. But honestly, I see a full-on bar behind me. Is that something that's important for you to make sure that you, you've got some drink for anyone? Well, we are a full-service restaurant, and a full bar is, is an important part of that. Uh, there are a lot of uh, Colorado liquors, uh, whiskeys, uh, vodkas. Uh, we try to bring those in. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more, more of a beer guy, so I let my, my bartenders and my bar crew kind of drive that for us. Uh, but that, that's a very important part of the piece of the puzzle. Not only that, but you have, you're talking like a full-on menu here, so I imagine if somebody wants to get a, a wine that they pair up with that, that's, that's available as well. Uh, yeah, we're not so heavy on the wines, uh, but uh, you get a lot of interesting pairings with the different different beers, uh, a lot of different flavor profiles in the beers uh, with the different yeasts, the different uh, malts, uh, different hops, uh, quite a wide range really. Obviously you've been here only for a couple short years, but I see you're already doing some expanding, some uh, basically bringing in some new things for every game they've never seen before. Anything in the future that you're going to be bringing to bring the community together? Uh, well, we've got a, a big uh, below grade beer garden over on the east side of the building and uh, come summertime we're going to try to have live music out there in the afternoons uh, with uh, counter service food. Uh, it's going to be dog friendly. Um, our deck over here on the west side is dog friendly and that's a big hit with folks that, that want to bring their dogs along with them. That is nice. So basically you got something for everybody. As a gentleman who basically said that my family talked me into this, I was an engineer, I've heard you um, use the word fun quite a few times. This is definitely a place at the end of the day when you're drinking a beer and you realize that family and friends have come in here, they've had a fun time, is that what makes it rewarding for you? Well it does. Uh, I mean after all that's what life's about, right? Uh, it's, it's making it good and, and having fun. And that is what life is about. You heard it right there, folks. Check them out. This is located right here in Evergreen, Colorado. Ample room outside. If you're thinking about having a wedding, this is the place to come out and really give your guests quite a treat. Let them experience Colorado firsthand. Panoramic views right here. You've got a hotel right up the road there. Your guests don't even have to get out of their car. They pretty much go up the road. Everybody's set there. Um, check them out. This is an this is basically a business to begin back in 2015 with basically views, brews, barbecue, and altitude. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.